Strange news. Cryptids and monsters of Michigan. Isabella Bigfoot. Bigfoot or Sasquatch is commonly used to describe a large bipedal ape-like creature that usually stands at seven feet tall. Sighted has been reported in from multiple parts of the county for decades. Michigan, Michigan seems to have a prime location for the iconic cryptid. Supposed sightings occur heavily wooded areas. There are a couple articles in the Central Michigan Life Archive that talk about Isabella-related Bigfoot phenomena. One of these articles l- took up nearly a page and a half in the 1996 edition of CM Life. The article details the situation from a couple living in a very southern pole portion of Clare County who recently moved into a house on the outskirts of the town of Lake. One of the owners, Carol Harmon, said she saw a seven-foot cathedral-like creature walking in front of his car. Headlights shortly after moving in. Harmon once said of a creature he ran across his roof. He said they are bears in the woods, but he was an assistant and was not a bear. Man began studying especially a creature claiming to have found their sleeping spots, their dieting habits. Bigfoot even killed two of his hunting dogs in the middle of the, of the local swamp, he claimed. A more recent case comes from an article in after the Animal Planet show, Funny Bigfoot did an exploration in Gladwin Forest, Houghton Lake, and West Branch Forester. Wondered why the show didn't investigate her wooded area. She said her family had been seeing Bigfoot for around 15 years, and the article said she even said a creature once came up and knocked a fan out of a window. The Michigan Dogman. In 19. 19- 87, a man named Steve Cook wrote and performed a song called The Legend of the Duckman, radio station WTCMFW. When, while this was supposed to be an April Fool's joke, he shot where many people began calling in their own claims to see the creature. When writing the song, Cook said he had no idea that the Dogman was a piece of Michigan folklore, with alleged sightings but dating back far for the song. The first historical sighting was in 1887, according to the book titled Travelling Michigan Sunset Coast. It says two lumberjacks saw a dog-like creature. The lumberjacks began chasing it down to utter shock. The creature supposedly stood upright. The lumberjacks ran away, never to return. The once... It there was once supposed this footage of the dogman. A web, according to a website skeptoid.com, a long running podcast about popular myths, short piece of footage emerged in 2007 that supposedly depicts a dogman attack on a camera. The video became known as the Growing Ball film and most, features mostly incredulous footage of snowball building. However, around the three minute second, Mark with a video, which is cuts the creature is running to the, to the camera. Cameron dropped the footage, and soon teeth are visible at the end of the footage. Harry Oswald said the footage was revealed to be a hoax created by a fan of Cook's soul, depending the hope dreams of everyone who believed footage of the dogman was found. Melon heads. Perhaps the most grotesque of the local Michigan legends is that of the Melonheads. While the legend exists in other states like Ohio and Connecticut, it began in Michigan. According to an article from an article, um, some clock fix which how the legend goes, but most versions stem from Segwin truck area and involves small children who suffered from hydrocell a alias staying at a local hospital H Y D R O C E P H A L U S is a disease that causes the build up of sil by spinal fluid or around in or around the brain according to the health sites. The story differs from various accounts. Some versions say the hospital closed, sending the children away, straight away, and nowhere to go. According to the article, other article accounts that the children 
ran away due to mistreatment and abuse of doctors. Some people still claim to spot them. The teens claim to see them around a local threat m- mansion. A Michigan UFO wave of 1996. This is a... On March 20th, 1966, a man named Frank Menard reported to the police that about something strange in the swamp area Dexter Township. Manor said he saw a pyramid shaped object with lights and heat rays emitting from it, and 40 to 60 people saw it before it quickly darted away. A pace research would retail reports of strange lights using reported being reported from all over the Ann Elba area. They prompted the U.S. Air Force to start an investigation. Officers said swamp gas was the cause of their strange lights, leading to outrage and cause of a cover-up after his examination. Explanation. This was even prompted a response from Moscow, Michigan Congressman Gerald Ford. A call for concurrential investigation the matter is never gained fruition. And back in... That is it. Thank you for listening.